I want to make a video, but guess what? <laughs> I can't sit down, there's a cat there! Chloe. <laughs> okay. I want to get her out. Hold on a minute. Come on. Oh, I don't want you falling. By the way, hey everybody. Say hi to everyone, Chloe. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, reason for video. Congratulations, Chris Allen, our new American Idol. And dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna play one of the songs. I like this one. So, congratulations to Chris winning. Uh, not gonna. I've, I've read all the internet blogs and everything, and you know, I've heard all the Adam was robbed sort of thing. I'm just like, what you, I'm not gonna pay attention to that because you know. I just, it's just going to be a waste of time trying to come up with a conspiracy theory or just say the show is fixed, Adam was robbed. I'm not going to get into that. It's, it's just, I just don't, I just don't want to bother with it. I, I'm just happy with the way things turned out. So, there's sort of one way of going about it. Hold on. I'll try to get the music lowered down so you can hear me. So... Chris won. Woohoo! This is this song he's gonna release called No he's released called No Boundaries. It's not it's not a bad song. Um yeah, it's a stereotypical idol coronation song. It's cheesy, it's corny. I was not happy with the fact they scrapped the songwriting contest because, you know, you, you gotta give other people an opportunity. To really get their songs out there. I mean the guy who wrote uh, Time of My Life that's the song David Cook sang after he won. You know, I'm sure he's rolling in a little bit of rolling in a bit of, he's made a good amount of money on that, so. But on the other hand, I'm gonna get to the other topic at hand, which is NBA playoffs. Uh, last night, while all the insanity going on with American Idol, um, this Eastern Conference Finals, Cleveland and Orlando, looks pretty interesting because you have Dwight Howard, the defensive player of the year. And you have LeBron James, the MVP. It was really close. I mean, I was surprised. I mean, talk about an exciting way to kill one hour and 50 minutes worth of idle filler. It's one hell of a really good basketball game. Yeah, Magic out-rebounded um, and out-defended the Cavs. But um, and LeBron James did his part. He scored a ton of points. So. And Dwight Howard did his part as proven why he's Defensive Player of the Year. He did great. So, um, that looks pretty good. Uh, Western Conference Finals, Nuggets, Lakers, Game 2. I mean, the Nuggets were great. I mean, it was just... You, you figured after they lost, you'd think they'd be down, but they're, they were not down. They did really good, so I'm really impressed. So, these Conference Finals look to be... Very interesting. I know the prediction is Cavs, Lakers in the finals, Kobe versus LeBron. Pay really close attention because they might. They, they, brace yourselves for the possibility that might not happen. So just just keep that in mind when you're watching these games on TV, or if you happen to live in either area, just keep that in mind when you're watching them at the arena. Because it could get these find these each of these conference final series. I'm gonna bail, and I'm gonna watch Chris Allen on the Tonight Show. So, uh, wait a minute. There we go. I'm gonna watch Chris on the Tonight Show. It's on right about now, but I don't. Yeah, but Leno's going through his monologue right now. So, <laughs> that's what I get for living in Montana. So, <laughs> which is not a bad thing, by the way. So, later. <laughs>